Okay, this video is going to try and teach you how to do simple analysis on a typical DLR reaction. If we take a look at the protocol tab up at the top, we can see that this was run on a luminescence mode on a 96 wall plate, and there were 48 intervals designed in the plate. We've got an interval time of 0.5 seconds, so that gives us a total time for the run of 24 seconds. We're taking half second interval pieces and uh, doing 48 calculations. The gain adjustment was set at 3600, which is the recommended setting for luminescent reactions. And you can see we have two injection points. The first injection is starting immediately at, as the reaction happens, and the second one is happening 12 seconds after the reaction happens. If we go to the microplate view, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight the wells that we want to measure. So by highlighting all the wells together, we're going to click on signal curve and it'll build a single graph for the curve of this reaction. If there are any unwanted ranges or if the range is outside of what you'd like, you can see the two ranges here. You can move those ranges around just by sliding them around and avoiding any anomalies like we have at the upper left here. And then after we're done, you can see that we've avoided this range of calculations. We want to make sure that when we check the range of this from 2 seconds to 12 seconds, that that's a 10 second total range, and we want to make the second range a 10 second range as well. They have to be matching if we want good ratio numbers. So once we've developed and set those ranges appropriately, we want to go up to the top where the calculations button is, and we want to click on the calculations button and choose kinetic calculations. The first thing we want to do is pull down the first menu and choose the raw data. And we want range interval number one, which is this first box here. And instead of slope, we'd like the sum of those ranges. By clicking apply, you'll notice that the sum of range one kinetic calculation has been added to the left side. To do the second range, we just pull down the second range and click apply as well. And that's going to give us both ranges. So what we're after right now is a ratio of the firefly luciferase to the vanilla luciferase. So to get the, the ratio between those two, we're going to go to data calculations, and we're going to put the first reaction here, so the sum of range 1 versus the sum of range 2, and that is divided by... So when we click apply now, it's going to give us a calculation of the sum of 1 divided by the sum of 2. Now that we've got this data series all done, we can go back to the microplate view and view those ratios of each of the wells in here. So a higher value is going to give us, obviously, a, a higher expression between these two reactions. When we're ready to export the data, we can click on the simple one-button export to Excel, and it's going to export those ratios directly to Excel. It's also going to include whatever header information we've chosen for that reaction. If we want, we can also go in and uh, go back to the signal curve view, and we can right-click inside this table here and ask it to create a bitmap. And this will create a graphic for us so we can insert the reaction graphic into whatever report we want to create. Or if we want to publish this for a, a journal, we can choose the high-resolution bitmap. And that's the easiest way to go about getting a DLR reaction with the calculations from a ratio of the two ranges.